painful slap to Sussex. Samantha deals fatal blow to Meghan, back on Twitter to attack her. Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha Markle is back on Twitter after Elon Musk took over the social network. Samantha claims that she was unjustly targeted and shut down by bots and trolls falsely reporting my account. Speaking to the Steeple Times website, she said, I believe that this will be a historically positive change for our social and economic world. It comes after Samantha criticized the Duchess of Sussex for her lofty claims of victimhood and for the dismissive and insulting treatment of Prince Harry on her new podcast. Samantha reacted with incredulous eye rolls as Meghan's odd and breathy podcast interview with tennis legend Serena Williams was played to her on Dan Wooden tonight. She accused the Duchess of being rather lofty in her claim that she was able to able to align with issues of womanhood and suffering on the grounds that she went to Immaculate Heart School where she was empowered by the nuns to be independent women. But who paid for that? asked Samantha. That was all my dad. So let's face it, we're not raised in a vacuum. There are others who help us along the way, who support us and who pay for everything that gives us that platform which was our father. She went on to accuse Meghan of self-glorifying, saying that her claims about ambitious women could be a projection. Most women are raised to be ambitious, she said. But I think there's been a lot of public scrutiny around how some go about climbing the ladder. Meghan's half-sister also suggested that Prince Harry has been left to play second fiddle since the couple's wedding in 2018. The Duke made a cameo appearance in the podcast, poking his head around the door to say hello and then calling Serena Williams's hair to a vibe before disappearing again. Reacting to Dan Wooden's question on whether she felt Meghan had emasculated Prince Harry, Samantha said, Harry seems to play second fiddle. It didn't hurt to use the title and the royal marriage as a springboard but after the wedding was over it feels as though Harry is in the shadow. It was kind of like, oh let's let him pop in. The whole thing felt very staged. Why have him in at all if he's not being included? It just seemed very dismissive and I felt, insulting, rather than have him included and them both talk about what's important to them in their lives now. The Duchess of Sussex's half-sister, Samantha Markle, is suing her for defamation following the airing of her interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021 and the publication of the biography Finding Freedom by Carol Enderand and Omid Scobie. Samantha is seeking $75,000, £57,000, in damages from the Duchess, claiming that the image Meghan has painted of their relationship has subjected her to humiliation, shame and hatred on a worldwide scale. Now, according to Newsweek, Meghan's lawyers are attempting to block moves by her half-sister to depose, which would mean they have to testify under oath, their father Thomas Markle, Prince Harry and Oprah in the lawsuit. Meghan's legal team have reacted to the request by asking the judge to halt the process of collecting and releasing evidence, until after a ruling on whether the lawsuit should be processed. Their filing read, a deposition of Mr. Markle at this juncture, along with other discovery, would be an unnecessary spectacle and waste of the party's time, money, and resources. It went on to read, Samantha Markle should not be permitted to force Meghan and, potentially, numerous non-parties to devote substantial resources to extraneous discovery while a meritorious motion that could dispose of the entire case is pending.